folk history of America is the history of its heroes. Big working men like John Henry, Paul Bunyan, and Big Bad John. But today I'd like to introduce a new folk hero. He didn't work in a mine or on a railroad or any of those strenuous occupations. He worked in a beauty salon, and his name was Bruce. Well, at the beauty salon, every morning at 10, Big Bruce arrived and kind of tiptoed in. He wore bell-bottom pants and a polka dot tie, and whenever he spoke, it was just to say, Hi, Big Bruce. Big Bad Bruce. Everyone knew when he swished into town, you could smell his perfume for miles around. He stood six foot five and weighed 106, with a curl in his hair and a smile on his lips. Big Bruce. Big old Bruce. The boys all say he's from Abilene, where he had a social group called the Lone Star Queens. Some say Hollywood or Beverly Hills, where he got arrested for passing $3 bills. That's Bruce. Dumb old Bruce. Then came the day of that terrible fire. Something went wrong in the number five dryer. Into the chaos of those matronly dames went Big Bad Bruce, or just a fan in the flames. Big Bruce. Big Bad Brucey Woosey. Well, the flames grew higher and the fire got worse. And someone heard Brucey cry, Mercy, I forgot my purse. Into the fire with a squeal and a shout. We waited an hour, but he never came out. Poor Bruce. Salon once stood, there's a grocery store, but his name will live forevermore in the annals of time and in the hall of fame as the gay young cat who went down in flames. Big Bruce. You might say this has been kind of a fairy tale. 